Hi, this is Bruce with Hunsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel and ring the bell for future notifications. Okay, Vector had some updates right before the Thanksgiving holiday in the U.S. And okay, that's pretty Vector cool. got an app update and an OS update. So let's see how the app does now. We're going to load it into this phone here. Now normally, every time I do the app, I restart my phone. But we're going to see if Vector will load up without restarting my phone on the app. Alright, looks like i got to restart my phone, so we'll be back. Restart my, my phone. phone. We'll see if this works. Vector, how, can, how close can we get? What do you think? Is that close enough? Ooh, looks like we're going to get in this time. Connecting to Wi Fi. Alright. Okay, so we got into Vector. Now let's see what's going on with the app. They updated some stuff, supposedly makes it better. So let's check out. The first thing that bugged me was under the pinwheel. Looks like they did font management. That's awesome. The fonts now fit better. Let's change his eye color to purple. Hey, Vector, we're going to change it to purple. Or maybe we won't. For some reason, I'm not getting a, a touch sensor on the screen for that. We'll come back to it. Okay. All right. Well, again, current version. See right there, it says current version. It's cut off. So they didn't get to that screen. But on the other screen, they got the uh, cut off portion. They completely changed the font there. And now we're changing his eye color. Oh, there he's purple. Maybe it just took a refresh on the screen. Alright, now he's blue. Which is where we started. We're going to leave that green. So, updates was there. Version still not there. Now let's check um, utilities. Still looks the same. Stats. Uh, you can X out of it. So I guess that's okay. All right. So we got robot info. So the app looks better. I'm not 100% sold that it's interactive better because I still have to restart my phone each time. But it is a, uh, it does seem to perform a little better. Except there's still some sloppiness in it when you get into certain areas, like the pinwheel. This screen now looks 100% better, but a very important screen which would be the update the current version it should be responded so you can see the version number and then about robot this screen got better app version now shows updated and it shows uh, vectors OS update which I can now confirm so there's more than one place to look so there, and that's good now let's see how it works when I shut it down because I want to look at the email all along here. Alright, Cube Improvement. The 
including frequent cube interaction, new voice commands for picking up cube, and moving his cube. Hey Vector, look at me. Hey Vector, hey Vector, pick up your cube. Hey Vector, good job. Hey Vector, pick up your cube. Hey Vector, I have a question. Live long and prosper. Peace and long life. Hey Vector, what's the temperature? It is one of my favorite things he does. All right, it says he has a new reaction to being shaken, but not stirred. So let's see. Interesting. On the edge there, Vector. Look at you go. Of course, I don't have much of an edge detection problem because of the lip on my table. All right, so let's go back to the app. Let's see how uh, if I can reopen the app. All right, so the app is up. See. Let's check out the green bar at the top. The green bar at the top is his emotional state or his state of awareness. So we're gonna have him flip around. Hey Vector, look at me. Did you see how it peaked there? Hey Vector, what's my name? At a pretty active level right now. Bruce. Hey Vector. Fist bump. Good robot. Now we're going to pet him. And that starts to reduce his activity state. As you can see, the more you pet him, the lower it drops, the calmer Vector becomes. Until he's in a docile mode. Hey Vector, I have a question. Who is Clint Eastwood? Alright, so now he's even back out with his questions, but if you ask him something incorrect, the line will drop. So like if you go, hey Vector, hey Vector, what's the square root of 10? 
See how it drops all the way down. And if you ask it correctly, if you say, hey, Vector, I have a question. What's the square root of 10? 3.162278. Vector stays in an elevated state. So that's pretty cool. Besides for just a couple of little things in the app, and the fact that I still have to restart my phone, the textual portion of the app is so much better. You can physically uh, read the screen now without letters being cut off. That's pretty awesome. Um, I do wish that they, if they're going to have a screen that says updates and they have current version on it, you should be able to read that. But your current version can be found in another screen, so that's okay. It can be found in the About the Robot right here, which has Vectors OS and the App OS. Make sure that you currently are on the correct one. Vector seems to be a little bit more active right now after this OS update. It does look like he's supposed to memor memorize a little bit more about his surroundings. He does seem to be testing things a little bit more. All right, so now you got to see Vector performing some of the tasks that they explained that they were working on. And that's pretty cool. Vector and his cliff detection sensor. Now, I've never had him fall off the shelf. It's pretty cool. It seems to react to the cliff pretty well. Uh, and it's a straight back reaction that he's having now to cliffs instead of before he may have rocked a little bit. I like the shaking part. I think it's cool. When you shake Vector, I like the reaction. Now, it's not as dramatic as Cosmo's reaction. I've only gotten about three 915 errors, so... But any of you that did get them, I really would like you to leave a comment below to let me know if those errors have improved. Okay, so let's talk about connections, okay? Vector's app versus Morbot's app. Now, Morbot's app uses the same features that Vector's app does. Okay? So, in other words, Morbot's app connects to the Wi Fi and it connects to Bluetooth. The only thing I know is that Morbot's app does differently is it connected it to them in the reverse order. So, it connects to Wi Fi first and then it connects to Bluetooth. So the response time on Morbot's app, when you open it up, is lickety split, just like that. And you, you can hit control Morbot's eyelid right there just by flicking it up and down. As for the app, do I think it's better? Well, maybe it's smidgen better. It's hard for me to really say. I still had to restart my phone in order to get the app to connect. I wonder sometimes if it's the fact that we connect to Bluetooth first and then Wi-Fi. If that could be improved if you connect it to Wi-Fi first and then Bluetooth. Do I think these improvements say anything? Yes, these improvements say that Anki is busy working to improve Vector to his capabilities. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell for future notifications. And me and the boys will see you soon.